In this tutorial, I will show you how to manage the licenses in your Yanitsa ID. There are two licenses in this Yanitsa ID. One of the licenses has been activated with a license key. Open the management in the tile of the activated license. Switch to the Settings tab. Various actions for the license are available here. In some cases, you can also call up these actions via the license tile. In the License Actions area, you can see how many items of the license are used. If you need more items than are included in the license, you can purchase additional items and add them to the license. Similar to the activation of a license, you add additional items to the license here with the corresponding license key. You can also see how long the update period is valid. If necessary, you can extend it. With the corresponding license key, you extend the update period of this license in this window. Information about item packages and extensions of the update period can be found on the website gridvis.com. In the License Name area, you name the license. It is recommended to use meaningful names for licenses to be able to identify multiple licenses in a Yanitsa ID more easily. The License Information area contains various information about the license, such as the edition or the commissioning code. You can grant access to the license to other users. Please note that according to the Terms of Use, a license may only be shared within a company or organization. For shared licenses, a corresponding icon appears in the license tile. In the table, you can see all current granted permissions. The Yanitsa ID in which the license was created is automatically the owner of this license. A license can have only one owner. This owner cannot be removed. Here you add further permissions. The respective user must have created a Yanitsa ID. Enter the email address of the user to whom you want to grant a permission. Select the role you want to assign to the user. An administrator manages the license similar to the owner but can be removed. A licensee can use the license but cannot manage it. Unlike the owner or administrator, a licensee sees only his own projects in the project overview of the license. To revoke a permission, click on Remove in the corresponding entry. Users will be notified by email of a granted or revoked permission. The second license in this Yanitz ID is an expired test phase. Projects that have been licensed with a test phase can still be used after the test phase has expired. However, then only the functionality of the Gridvis Essentials is available to you. An expired test phase can either be activated with a license key or removed from the Yanitz ID. Please note that only one test phase is supported per Yanitz ID. Open the Actions in the License tile of the test phase. How to activate a test phase is shown in another tutorial, which you can find in the video description. This test phase is to be removed. Click on Remove Test License to do this. The test phase is now removed from the Yanitz ID. Projects that were licensed with this test phase must now be re-licensed with a full license. Open the management of the activated license. In the Activated Projects tab, you can see all projects licensed with this license. You can search in this list 
and filter. Select the project that was licensed via online licensing. In the license management, several actions are available for the project. You can remove the project from the license, move the project to another license, and add a description to the project. Click on Delete Selected Project Connections. The project is now being removed from this license and is no longer licensed. To continue using it, you must license it again. In addition, you will receive a confirmation email to the email address provided in your Janitza ID. Select the project that was licensed via offline licensing. Offline licensed projects cannot be moved to another license. Click on Request Project Removal. The removal of the project will be done by the Janitza support afterwards. Until then, the project is marked as deleted in this list. Once the removal of the project has been confirmed, you will receive a confirmation email to the email address provided in your Janitza ID. For an offline licensed project, you can change up to 50% of the items included in the project before you need to update the licensing of the project. If the project has been removed from the license in the meantime, you must license it again. A project licensed offline via the web client is treated in the same way as a project licensed offline via the GridVis desktop. Thank you for your interest in this tutorial. For more information, please visit wiki.janitza.de.